kids grow fast and usually you're fitted with a prosthetic and a kid can grow several inches in a year, go through several size shoes, and it's the same for the hand size and wrist size. So if you're being charged three, five, eight thousand bucks a prosthetic, a lot of people can't afford that. There's been a surge in do-it-yourself prosthetics. People are basically taking prosthetics and making them or redoing them themselves to try to make them more affordable, more customizable. So how we started was just downloading files from open source prosthetic end, which is called Enable Community, and tweaked a little bit using program. Since Sophie had a thumb and a pinky, she already has some functionality in her hand. One of our stated goals was to play on the monkey bars, so we're trying to design a hand that will support her weight. Uh, we've come up with some designs that add two fingers, add three fingers. You have a network of 3D printers and this community that's sharing this information, so it goes beyond just Sophie. When we upload our files and show what we've done, we share what we've done, it'll benefit a lot more people and it brings home that the 3D printers can be incredibly useful tools in the hands of designers and engineers and people who want to produce functional items. Hi.